Ghosts, the soul or spirit of a dead person or animal that is believed to appear to the living. When did we start believing in ghosts? What are their motivations for staying around? Are they in constant agony? Are they in peace? Do they sh**? These are questions that many have tried to answer but were unable to because as far as I know, it is quite difficult to interview ghosts. A tablet made in ancient Babylon in 1500 BCE was discovered and it is believed to be the earliest known depiction of our belief in ghosts. However, if you ask me, how they were able to see these lines is the real paranormal activity here. But what happens when you mix the belief in the supernatural with some random college non-believer who makes absolutely terrible decisions and lives alone? This video. Good afternoon, evening, or morning, Axolots. For legal reasons, I don't know where you live. And also for legal reasons, there may not be a morning for me after this. Now, I've always had an affinity for ghosts since I was young. Kids in my school thought that I was possessed when I was 12 because I talked to the wall because I had problems. One of my friend's mom tried to exercise me. It was very interesting, it's a very fun experience, but that's a story for another day. I love me a little bit of spooking, so I thought, why not check the validity of ghosts? I don't believe in them personally, but you know, since I'm living alone in my dorm now, I might as well see if I actually am living alone, you know? But first of all, we gotta solve a problem. A fashion problem. To attract the spookiest books, you need to be the spookiest spooks. So you know how we can solve that? Boom! See, isn't that perfect? This isn't me. I'm not gonna draw a pentagon on the ground because I don't think my landlord would like that. And a one, and a two, and a one, two. I am the spookiest spook! So let's talk strategy real quick. There's gonna be two, two ways I'm gonna go about this. First of all, I'm gonna use a Ouija board. Second, I'm gonna try to use my mirror. And I'm hoping they won't have to get to the point where I use the mirror because I really do not want to see this ghost. Not that I think it's ugly or anything, I just don't want to be intimidated by the beauty. I really want to charm this ghost, you know. The best way not to get killed by the supernatural is to seduce it. Ooh, I'm actually starting to feel like a weird headache in the back of my head right now. I'm slash SRS, I'm slash Jen, slash for real. A massive splitting headache, something even akin to a migraine suddenly creeped up on me. What could it be? Could it be the cold, dark hands of a ghost clenching onto my skull, ripping me away into their universe? Or was I perhaps a little bit dehydrated? Or I'm dehydrated, that's probably the reason why. Now I can't find anywhere that sells Ouija boards here so I tried looking online but unfortunately there were only two options and both of them costed a kidney. I don't know why, why is it so difficult to try and talk to the supernatural and why does my head hurt so much? So I decided to DIY one myself. This is gonna be like the Nokia of the iPhone world of ghost communication. I'm not gonna lie, I did a pretty good job. <laughs> <laughs> so ignoring how I was actually getting a massive splitting headache during the process of making this, something even weirder happened. I had a picture of my Ouija board displayed on my monitor while drawing it, but suddenly my screen shut off and I was unable to open the Chrome browser at all afterwards. Oh shit, my thing's not opening. Oh shit, my entire computer that just died. When I was like halfway through drawing the Ouija board, this is kind of weird. If you go over here, you can see that I had a tab open with the Ouija board so I could copy it. And I, I actually just can't open it. It just turned off. This is kind of odd. Dear Lord, when I get to heaven, please let me bring my man. And this didn't just stop there. It happened twice. Just as I finished, this thing happened again. It turned off and now I can't open the tab anymore. Some tech expert is gonna explain to me what's going on in my comments But let's just pretend that Sailor Moon is trying to save me I still don't believe in ghosts However, you gotta admit that was a bit sus It was clear to me then that either I was being warned Or I really had to update my software 
There, we are going to be fine, guys. Look at whoa! Okay, that looked like a noose. Afterwards, we start making the planchette. Eh? It kind of looks like a vagina. Nice. So we just DIY an entire Ouija board set. Five minute crafts could never. Okay, so first things first. Usually, when people do these like spooky Ouija board things, they always have candles around them. And when I searched up how to use a Ouija board, they did say use a candle because the candles blowing out can be a sign of communication. Or maybe the ghosts just have a particular aesthetic. I don't blame them. Now, I live in a dorm and I don't really want to cause my roommates to burn in their sleep in the middle of the night. I think that might result in more ghosts that are angry at me. So we're just gonna use these. These are fake candles that I bought from a store for $2. So if the ghost wants to stick to me, I'm sorry buddy, but you can't just do your little whew blows anymore. You gotta work a little bit harder here to manually flicker these on and off. Headache! I'm having a headache again. This is not a good sign. So this is where the ritual is going to be held. Uh, my door is here so that if the ghost wants to knock, it is very close to me. There's a mirror behind me so if there's anything I didn't notice, you will. This is, this is terrifying, actually. So apparently rule one of Ouija boards, you're not supposed to do them alone. That is like the number one don't. And it's kind of a problem for me. Because do you see anyone here? That's why I'm gonna use my plushie. And since my plushie basically represents all of you, I'm just gonna put it here. This is kind of scary, not gonna lie. This is a bit spooky. First of all, I have a bit of a problem with these candles. I know I bought them because I didn't want the real ones to burn down this entire building. However, I don't like the fact that they made it so that they can like flicker. Why? Why do I need that to be accurate? That is the whole scary things about candles is that they flicker. I can't even tell if it's flickering because the battery is weak or if, if, it, if it just does that because because it's supposed to imitate an actual candle. Like, pfft. okay. Now, let's begin. One. Ew, that's a strand of hair. Hey, why is this hair strand so long? I don't. My hair is not this long. But, okay. No one needs to care about that. So, if you listen closely here, you can hear a bit of screaming in the background. One. Two. I don't know what the deal is with that, it's probably the wind. So basically, I decided the best strategy was to just close my eyes and be as gentle as possible with the arrow, allowing either the ghost or my subconscious mind to bring me where it needs to be. Is there anyone here that would like to speak to me? Please, please give me an indication. Any indication. Or you could, you know, like, blow up one of these candles. I'd love to see you try. Now here, I felt a little bit of cold on the back of my neck, which I will assume is probably just a psychological thing. Or the ghost tried to kiss me. I can't tell if my hand is just moving in place or towards a certain thing. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds, okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, we're at the, uh, the yes. Huh. Now, it's actually kind of interesting how my body subconsciously moved towards that because that is the scientific reasoning for this. But anyways, okay, bet. It was at this moment that I realized the most intimidating part of communicating with ghosts is that you have to talk to them. I'm already scared of communicating with people, man. How do I even start a convo with the unliving? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Do you, do you like my room decor? I'm like, I have goosebumps on my body. Okay, yes. Yes, do you like my room decor? Yeah, yeah, I like it too. Thanks. I guess we can finally get to the real question. Um, am I hot? In your personal, personal opinion, do you think I'm attractive? Like, I don't mean like celebrity, Met Gala kind of attractive, you know, I just, I just mean like, on, a, on an average scale, am I at least like a, like a 7 out of 10? So basically, um, funny story at this part, 
So, because I am the vainest person to ever live, I thought it would be funny to allow my hands to sway over to no and then deliberately move it back to yes. Like, obviously, I'm not gonna apply a bunch of pressure, but still, I had full intent to move it to yes myself. But for some reason, whether it be an actual ghost dissing me or my absolute lack of direction sense, it just, it just moved to no. It went to no and then moved even further to no. Okay, really? I can feel this thing sliding over to the no. I'm gonna push it over to the yes. Okay. Okay. What? I'm just gonna assume it's a ghost for the sake of my own ego. <laughs> Bro! Huh, I thought I heard something. So you think I'm unattractive? Really? I don't need you to tell me that. People from my high school have already done it, okay? Okay, let's try the numbers. Uh, I'll move it over here to make it easier for you. <laughs> You're welcome. How old are you? Okay. Five? Come on. I'm beefing with a five-year-old? Okay, you're five. You don't know what attract- Oops, sorry. I shouldn't lift my hands off this. You're five. You don't know what attractiveness is yet, okay? When you reach- <clears throat> I forgot that you're a ghost and you can't grow up. That was my bad. I need to stop beefing with a five year old. Can you spell out your name for me? And if it's a really long name, can you just spell out a nickname or something? I don't want to sit here for like 10 minutes. Okay, let's go. Let's go. A few moments later. D. I feel like this is shaping up to be a D's nuts joke. 12 seconds later. R, Dr, Drake? Or oh, maybe it's Doctor. Maybe my ghost has like. Maybe my ghost has a PhD. That's respectable. Eventually. D R W R. Guru. Okay, to be fair, my ghost is five, so maybe they don't know how to spell their name yet. So, Jur. Guru. Okay, what are some rules that I'm not supposed to do yet? I'm not supposed to ask when I'll die. But that just makes me want to ask it more. I'm not asking it yet, I'm not. I'm just contemplating. But it would be an interesting question to ask. Now the reason I'm not gonna ask stuff like that is because we don't know what happens. I could be jinxing myself, and then you'll see me on the news someday, and the comments of this is just gonna be flooded with people being like, I do not claim this negative energy. Blah blah blah. He, he jinxed himself. If there's one thing I hate more than dying, it's people rubbing it in my face, okay? Is Feline Sun the best YouTuber in my live existence? Oh my god, it said yes! Okay, uh, I think I have no more questions. I'm just gonna end this. Is that what my- Ew, why does my elbow look like that? Thank you, drawer. Okay, what was that rule again? Encourage the ghosts to go back. Uh... Shoo shoo, drawer. Oh god, I suddenly felt a horrible chill down my spine. I'm sorry, I was joking. I'm a content creator. I'm a content creator, okay? You should go now, and I am going to go also. Okay, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Alright. That was the end of it. Yeah, that was a bit anticlimactic. I don't know what I was expecting to be dragged into the shadow realm or something. But that was fun. There are kind of goosebumps on my skin right now. Whew. After that was done, I thought to myself, Wow, I feel like talking to more paranormal things. I don't feel haunted enough by that. So I tried attempt number two, mirror gazing. Now this next experiment is a bit more funky and fresh. It's called mirror gazing apparently. And uh, I don't know, I guess I just kind of look at the mirror and see what I get. Ah, my candles! Okay, where do I put these? I mean, I guess I should put some on like the ground. Maybe one on my head? Okay, perfect. Okay, let's get to this. So I read in a horror story book that um, you don't say Bloody Mary because she's going to drown you in a bathtub if you do that. Bloody Mary, was that you? Oh sh- can you stop? I think like- okay, by the logic, if I say Bloody Mary three times in the mirror and she shows up, does that mean that any dead person I speak will show up in the mirror? Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth Um, if there's anything here, can you give me a sign? Also, my contract to stay here doesn't end for another year So, if any spirits chose to stay here, we're gonna be together for one year And I'm not sure if you want that I have very 
um, uncomfortable living habits. Anything at all? Okay, I'm gonna take that as, as a yes. Will we ever hit 2 million subscribers? Blow the candle if yes. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm talking too much. Maybe I just need a moment of silence for the ghost to respond. Ghost, you can speak into the speaker over here, okay? It, are you here right now? I think that was long enough to say yes or no. Okay, did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? Am I losing my mind? I'm kind of running out of science here, so if anyone would like to explain that to me, uh, please do. Maybe that was a gust of wind or a rat living in my walls that suddenly developed the knowledge of English. Uh, second of all, are you a dog person or a cat person? Actually, why is this thing shaking? I, I don't know if you can see it, but this thing is like kind of shaking, which doesn't make sense because there's no wind. <laughs> I look like a little mouse. Oh dear ghost that might be here. What do you think of these games? This thing is like really glued onto my head right now, even if I'm trying to shake it off. Oh, do you like my shirt? Over here, if you can see, it says Let Summon Demon. And I've got the candle, and I don't really have all these friends. But maybe if you brought some extra ghost friends, what am I doing? Why am I cursing myself? Yeah, I think I've stared at my reflection long enough. I'm gonna go now. Thank you, and goodbye. Okay. Turns out the only spooky thing about this mirror is the Holly with supernatural beauty staring back at me. So that was the end of the video. Uh, I don't really know what logical assumption we can make from that. I think I just have really wobbly arms. But still, it was fun. It was nice to, you know, see if I really am alone in this room. If there are any ghosts here. You're going to jail because you just saw me naked. Remember, you have nothing to be scared of unless you do have something to be scared of. Then you should probably be very afraid. Good evening, everyone. This is Manfal back here again to make bank and save lives. So speaking of ghosts, do you know what's more terrifying than an undead creature staring at you from the corner of your room as you sleep at night? Maths and computer science nearly sh** my pants saying that out loud. But with the help of Brilliant.org, you can exercise your fears. Brilliant.org is the best way for you to learn maths and computer science interactively. There are thousands of lessons for you, whether you're in need of help for data science or neutral networks or more words that have more than three syllables in them. New lessons are added monthly, therefore you'll never have to worry whether or not you're run out of content to learn. Get your own learning coach on screen today. If you want to try everything that Brilliant.org has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit Brilliant.org slash San or simply click the link in the description. The first 200 of you speedy speedsters will get 20% off Brilliant's premium annual subscription. That's a lot of kachinga saves. Trust me, I'm a businessman. Thank you again to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check it out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.